What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next video, we are given this table of values here for an exponential function in the form y equals a times b to the power of x. And we have to find the m and the n value. So notice we have an unknown here, m, the y coordinate when x is one. And then we have this unknown value, n, the x coordinate when the y value is 655.3. Six. And notice in addition to those two coordinates, we're given two full coordinates. And we have two unknowns, A and B, so we could use those two coordinates to solve for those two unknowns. So if we rewrite the equation here, let's plug in the first one. So we got zero for x, y is 3,125, so we'd have 3,125 equals A times B to the power of that x value of zero. And then anything to the power of zero is just one. And so notice that the a value ends up equaling 3,125. So taking that, plugging it in here, we end up with that. And then we could plug in the other coordinate 3, 1,600 to solve for the b value. So we would have 1,600 uh, equals 3,125. Then we'll have b to the power of 3, like that. And then from here, to solve for this b, we want to bring the 3, 1, 2, 5 over. So we would divide both sides by 3,125. And then if you simplify, this fraction over here, you'd end up with 64 over 125, and that's going to be b to the power of 3, like that. And then multiple ways to go about it here to solve for this b value, you could take both sides to the reciprocal of that exponent, right? So you take the third root of this, and you'd end up with 4 over 5. Another way to go about it is you can actually, let me, uh, let me just write the answer here and I'll show you what else you could do. At this point you could just notice how that left side you could change to be in this format. So notice you could take the third root of 64, third root of 125, third root of 64 is 4, third root of 125 is 5, you could change that to be 4 over 5 to the power of 3, and then we have b to the power of 3. And then we could drop the exponents, and b would be 4 over 5. So whichever way you do it, 4 over 5 ends up being the b value. So the final equation ends up being y equals 3,125, 4 over 5, to the power of x. Or you could change this to a decimal as well, 0 0.8 to the power of x. I'm going to keep it, actually, you know what? Let's, um, let's work with decimals. Doesn't matter, but I feel like when we're doing the algebra for finding this n value, it might be just a little less cluttered if we're using decimals, but you could use fractions as well. Just wherever I put this decimal in the algebra, make sure you're putting that fraction in brackets. So from here, we could find first this m value, plug in an x value of 1, so we'd have y equals 3125, 0 0.8 to the power of 1. 0 0.8 to the power of 1 is just 0 0.8 times 3125 gives us 2500. So this m value here, it's 2500. So that's part of the answer. And then this n value, what we got to do is we, again, plug it in here, but we would be plugging in a y value this time. And we're going to solve uh, for x. So this one's going to be a little bit more hectic. What we would do is you would actually divide both sides by 3,125. And then over here you're going to get 
a decimal, and the decimal is actually going to be 0.2097152. You want to make sure you don't round over here. And then on the right side, these cancel out, you end up with 0 0.8 to the power of x. Now, if you want to solve for an exponent, you're going to have to use logarithmic rules. So just in general, if you have, let's say, a equals b to the power of x, like that, this a and b is not the same as that. This is just a rule, a general side rule that I'm giving you here. If you want to solve for this x value or isolate for it, you would take log of a divided by log of b. Or you can take ln of a and divide it by ln of b. Right? Ln is just a particular form of a logarithm. Right? So either of these will give you the answer. And so notice in this case, this is like the a, and then the b is like the 0 0.8. So if we want to isolate for the x, we would take log of this, 0.2097152 over log of 0 0.8. What do we get? We end up with x equaling 7, like that. So the n value ends up being 7, and we're done the question.